JB Reviews here. It's a quick video. It is snowing out here in Utah again. So here's some proof. I already started shoveling just so I don't have a lot to do tomorrow. But I wanted to test out these Goodyear tires. I'm going to roll it in two-wheel drive. And let's just kind of get a feel for just how good these tires are with a little bit of snow in the ground. I'm going to do wide open throttle here in a second. Let me just straighten out. So I'm going to go straight and I'm going to do wide open throttle. Hopefully you guys can see the speed. Wide open throttle here. Traction control. Still wide open throttle. Man. And brakes. Wow. So this road is really slippery. And I will say these Goodyear tires, I drove a little while ago and I was in some deep snow, probably like three or four inches of it. And the truck did a pretty darn good job. Like right now I'm hitting the brakes. I don't have them completely pressed down, but it does have a nice feel on the road. Like even when you turn, the back tires are slipping a little bit and that's only because obviously I'm accelerating. So here's a quick look at the tires. They have a nice aggressive look to them. And these are the stock tires that GM puts on their truck. So I definitely commend them for doing a nice tire from the factory. So it's gonna be an LT275-6520. And these are the Goodyear Wranglers. But yeah, going around the turns here, the roads are really slippery. So I have to give kudos to Goodyear for these Wrangler tires. Like I feel like they do a good job. Like I have the brakes pressed. Actually, that was pretty good. Wide open throttle. These tires work really well. They're really quiet. And if you are looking to, for a replacement tire, like I had a Ram 3500 that came with the Firestone Transforce. And I would gladly get these tires if you don't want something too aggressive and too loud. And again, I know this isn't like a lot of snow on the ground. I mean, I'm sure you guys can probably see. It's not a lot of snow, but believe it or not, when I had my Nitto Ridge Grapplers, I'd be slipping and sliding on these grounds. Like those tires, they're really aggressive. They're like a hybrid between an all-terrain and mud tire. And I don't really recommend those if you do a lot of driving on the highway or there's a lot of driving in snow conditions like this. Because once it gets up to like two or three inches, those tires are just no good. One thing I will mention, Utah is not like Maryland. Maryland spends probably way too much money treating their roads. Because out here in Utah, I don't think I've seen two snowplow trucks on the highways. And that's one thing I will say. Maryland was really on top of their game when it came down to the snow. Now I'm going to hit the brakes really hard right now, so... That is not bad. Now wide open throttle again. Traction control. So the grounds are a little bit more clear over here. So I can't say that these tires are great over here because yeah, the ground is not as um, covered. But we're gonna turn around here in a second and I'm gonna do one more wide open throttle on the ground. And then we will pretty much end this quick video. But one last thing I want to say before I show you guys the wide open throttle. I'm going to do it in automatic too. So it'll basically be in four wheel drive. But these tires really do perform well all around. Even towing, I find that these tires, when you air them up to 80 PSI front and rear, they do perform pretty well. And I will be doing a video on that really soon. But uh, let me go ahead, man. It's coming down now. Let me hit the brakes here. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna put it in auto. Hold on one second. Nah, this is not a good area. Let me go back on the other side here. Because the other side, the roads are still really covered because no one's been going out and coming in. So but yeah, it's really coming down now though. Wow. And I mentioned in another video that the headlights on this truck were just okay. And I still kind of stand behind that. They're not terrible. Um, 
I think that I would expect more for reflective style headlights personally, especially with LEDs. They tend to do a better job illuminating and I feel like these are just okay. That's just my opinion. Oh yeah, this is a good area right here. This is perfect. So nobody has pretty much come through here yet. So just so you guys can see. So this would be a before. Oh yeah, you hear that? And I wasn't even all the way down to the ground. So this is two wheel drive. That was 10 miles an hour. And I'm gonna put it in auto. Let's see how long it takes for it to initiate too. All right, let me just move forward a little bit, let it engage and stop. Now wide open throttle, ready? Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, in a four wheel drive, these tires are just nothing. It just takes them nothing to get going. Brakes again. Yeah, everything feels solid with these tires. I strongly recommend them. I like something a little bit more aggressive for me, but yeah, if you want a good set of tires that are really quiet on the highway and they kind of have an aggressive look to them, I would definitely choose these. See you guys in the next video.